Hello and welcome to Heskey Agency. Exciting news! We've recently upgraded our custom code for the drag and drop backend functionality in the Jet Engine Grid. This enhancement simplifies managing custom post types with a new widget added to the admin dashboard. Adding, editing, and deleting custom post types is now a breeze, and you can even handle multiple custom post types with ease. Here's a look at our new custom code for the drag and drop backend functionality. To integrate this, you'll need to input the updated code into a snippet plugin. If you haven't installed a snippet plugin on your WordPress site yet, head over to Add New Plugin Search for Snippet and you'll find several options. My recommendation is WP Code Snippet for its extensive functionality and smooth performance. Once you've entered the new code, simply hit Publish or Update. Moving over to the WordPress dashboard, you'll notice the new widget for managing custom post types. This is where you can specify the title for your custom post type. Next, we navigate to the Jet Engine Grid for custom post type, copy the custom post type name, and place it in the designated area. Clicking on Add Custom Post Type will save your changes. And from there, editing or deletion is straightforward. After saving the changes, let's explore the Custom Post Type section. This area displays all the posts you've created. It's also the perfect spot to test the drag and drop functionality and ensure everything is running smoothly. For instance, moving the Mercedes entry upwards in the list shows the feature in action. Following this, a quick visit to the front end and clicking Clear Cache confirms the functionality is effective. Experimenting further, setting Volvo as the first entry and Nissan as the second, then revisiting the front end and clearing the cache demonstrates the seamless operation. Lastly, we return to Elementor, focusing on the listing grid. Here, in the content section under post query, we adjust the order and offset. Setting it to zero, changing it to ASC, and selecting menu order finalizes the process. Remember, updating the Elementor page is crucial for these changes to reflect on the front end. That wraps up our session for today. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please show your support with a like, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section. See you in the next video.